Hi, Sterling Allen here, PESN.com. Today is June 20th, 2015. We are on the second day of the testing at the Roche demo. This is, they're running at 15 kilowatts. We don't have it started yet. We're gonna start up here in a minute. And I'm just gonna give you a quick uh, tour of the location. Uh, there, of course, is the tube that's gonna, gonna be tested. I'm over here next to the generator with my computer. The webcam is sitting there on top. And there's a bit of a delay between the what's showing on YouTube versus what's actually happening. And that I can't figure out yet uh, how long the delay, but it's it's pretty substantial. Um, and I, I would guess at least 10 seconds. Um, so we'll we'll turn her on, and I've got my. Uh, American plug into their mains power. Um, just to set up here so that you know, they will, uh, first of all, they take the power from the mains, they, they take an air hose from the mains power. They hook it up to this nozzle here uh, into the air tank and they then turn, we'll crank this handle here to get it started, to manually turn it, and that will get the, their air will start filling the chambers and they will start rising up through this column. And that rotation, when it gets fast enough, when this generator gets going fast enough, they will then switch on this uh, air compressor and they will disconnect the hose from main and we will be self-looped at that point and what we want to show you, yesterday they took this up off the ground uh, with a forklift to show that there are no wires coming from underneath there. We looked underneath here, there's no wires under here. And uh, we, we did uh, inter, uh, infrared measurements around this. There's no wires that we can detect coming to it from un underneath the ground. So this, uh, it, and we also checked the infrared around this. We showed that there was no wires going up through the legs of this. There's no heat signature going up. So as far as we can tell, the only source of energy is coming from this generator, which is being powered by this system, which is being powered by this compressed air. Uh, people in the, in the column are saying that there's a hidden, I can tell you from the weight from this thing that there's nothing inside of here. There's, yeah, we're, we're going to... Uh, We've open. done it. You, you've already done it, and there's nothing in there. Do you want to give a quick explanation of what happened there? Um, we took the lid off, and it's just the regular wiring you'd expect in the generator in there. There's nothing additional in that unit at all. We've also flewed right around the wooden top here. Oh, I think it's wood. And we've found no heat signature of any white cabling anywhere in this whole area floor, the, the support beams, and this sort of very thick wooden sort of top. That's Stuart Campbell from the PESN forum. He, he, he keeps you guys moderated. <laughs> and he'd like to kill a few as well. <laughs> <laughs> he'd like to cut a few as well. <laughs> okay, I think we're ready to get this started. Should we get this fired up? Okay, here we go. But a lot of people. What time is it? One thirty three? Or one forty three? Is that local? That was that was about a minute. 
from the time that he plugged that in. So it's now self-loop, powering this load. And it is operational. This one's quite a bit higher than these two. They're not the same level. like it like an air hose yeah yeah and also um, could you get a, a clamp on that meter yeah let's, let's do that too who has an amp meter okay Just as a reality check, let's put it on the generator. I know, put it on there. But watch your pullover and everything. Yeah. yeah. It, it should, it, if they're all in line, but it should show something just because they're not going to be exact. So they 
Okay, so here's the meter for the building. It's just, it's uh, just inside. I mean, it's really close to the, I'm just gonna show you visually so you can see how fast it's turning a little closer. And uh, so hopefully that's enough time that you can calibrate how fast that's turning. And I'm just visually show you where we're going. There's Mr. Doman All right. and John Berwin. And there's the, so it, you know, it's only going to take you. So, so there, there, there's how, that's how close it is, okay? It, it's just a 10, 15 second walk from one to the other. I just commenting on, on camera that it's only a 10 to 15 second walk from there get in less than a minute from reading that meter to reading that meter. So it's a 10 or 15 second block. 10 seconds, 10 meters. <laughs> Next day, um, the timestamp will be on the camera and I'll be able to tell you what time it is. It's about the same time that 24 hours later um, that we measured this yesterday. And it's barely consumed about three kilowatt hours or something like that. I think it was eight three point five or uh, anyway. We've we've got that, and I'll compare it. Hi, Sterling Allen here, PESN. They just turned on the plexiglass unit. They replaced the uh, module that had burned up, and so it's now running as of three o'clock. Uh, Germany time around it this probably a little bit before that and uh, this one's on wheels so obviously has no uh, one of the major problems to have in the moment is that this one yeah because it was never built for constant running uh -huh. yeah, it's just a show plant yeah, and that one is broken and it makes no sense only to replace that because there are so many other parts on the world. This has to be totally refurbished. Yeah. And because any any losing bubble is lost at loss of energy. Yeah. What's that? Yesterday we were looking at this, the other one uh, that's been disassembled. 
we saw that that fitting is, is, is solid. There's no sponginess to it. There's not, it's not like it's pushing into a rubber type of seating. It's just those are both very firm plastic as it goes into connection there. Uh, there's no give, there's no sponginess or springiness to that connection. there yesterday. Um, they don't want us taking pictures inside. Um, have, yeah, have and, people and, and the box is lifted, so you, you put the three, look between the plate and that one. Mm -hmm. of the batteries in there, what's the calculation of how long the system could run on those batteries if they were... The starting battery? Yeah. Uh, less than five minutes. Five minutes, yeah. And uh, You can see the battery in your car if you forget to switch off the lights. You yeah. see how fast the battery is going. Okay. Right. And it's much less. It's only 40 watts. The main noise you hear is from the system over there. Okay. Putting out about 16.56 kilowatts. Just so you know, I'm going to go over there so you can see that that's where the noise is coming from. This air compressor right here. Powering this load, self-looped to that generator. the chain system is able to handle, uh, or, and the flotation system could put up to 60 kilowatts, but this generator that they have on it is only capable of about 22 kilowatts. They're running it at 18 kilowatts yesterday. I'm not sure what the difference is today.
see what's on top. going to uh, check, get an angle with the FLIR infrared camera really, showing all the... Be careful with the things. Yeah. Right? yeah. Let's go from this side so that the, the electric cable is on the other side. So let's go on the other side and look at it this way. So that the... It's still starting now. Still starting up, so. Still starting up, you said? Starting up. Still oh, the camera's yeah. still setting, starting up? Yeah. Okay. from like up here so that you, you don't see the cable or the generator and you can see all four legs at the same time. Yep. It's kind of hard to get that angle in there. There's no heat there.
start to get a, a little bit of inflate in there. So get one, yeah. Get, get it so this is out of view, so you're just getting that, the right side of that. Got his camera. Oops. There we go. Yeah. Oh, there. On the Fleur camera, we're looking at some heat. That's just his camera that's the go -go. holding. Okay, let's look at the generator. This is after it's been off for an hour or more. Still got a lot of heat. And let's go uh, on the side now. Okay. Let's get all the legs on the table. Just recalibrating. Step, let's set step back so we get the better shot. That's John on the right hand side. There's the generator, still very hot in comparison. No heat signatures in the floor, which would still be there if there was any hidden cabling. Mm -hmm. Anywhere else you want to look, Stanley? Um, that's, that's just a person on the right. That's how, how hot is the chain? It's pretty much cooled down. Yeah. It's still showing some heat. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look there. About it's about 20. Let's let's look at the cable. That, that now there's no electricity going through it. Have to take it off. That's just the floor that we're seeing. Yeah, but just it's just you sort just of barely see it. We going. might be getting just too much reflection here at this stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd have to come right back up. We should be able to pick it up from here. If there's anything there. There we go. 19.5C. Yeah. yeah. So it's really cooled down. I'm also going to do a view underneath the table here. Let's see. Bolts. Oh. <laughs> Just roll it. Oh. 
He stopped it so that they can uh, roll it. Let's go back so we're in view of the, the web, we've got the webcam right there. So we'll come back into view of the webcam. Hey, you're talking about one talk. What's that? It's, it's close it's to okay. 1,000 kilo. Right. I'm just saying, I sit, it took me, we have to move it back here now because I've got my webcam right. Well, I can, I can move it, never mind. Now again, back to the same place, I want. This is fine, this is fine. Okay. See why they want it. Start it up again. <laughs> Which buttons do I push? First and all, here you see here, now in a moment, must emerge. Mm -hmm. Even here. So now we have to connect the battery. Start it. Hey, Sterling Allen here, PESN. We just uh, turned off the uh, 15 kilowatt system and we also turned off, this one was uh, getting hot, so they turned it off, we'll turn it on again in a minute. And they're going to drain the water out of the system. It's been running for seven hours. And uh, so they're now gonna bring in the hose and they're gonna drain this thing. It's uh, 3, 350 p.m. Germany time right now. 
Sure. If you would it hasn't been. I take that back. It hasn't been seven hours. It's been. Uh, it started at. What time was it? Anyway, I've got that on the web when we started it. Fitting it up manually. You were turning it manually just now, right? When we were holding it back. Oh, so now they just let go and so it's. That was the remaining air. Okay. They were holding it back and then they let go of it and that was the remaining air going up. Okay, yeah, now it's. They are draining the system. We should get, uh, do you have a video camera? Yep. We should be doubling up on this. This is water from the uh, Indian. Well, well, What does that look like? Oh, well, that's you, just a video camera. Yeah. Yeah. Now you can check the hidden wire because the hidden wire should be still lighting. <laughs> it would be, um, that would be good to document the heat now, of the water coming out. What you did during it was running, you checked it. Now you take your, your uh, the travel camera and uh, there should be still something very hot. Try oh, to find the if, yeah. you know, find, uh, find now the place yeah. which is yeah. so hot that it could be the hidden part you are looking for. Right. Just yeah. try it. Yeah. Because it still has to be there. Yep. Yeah. It lasts for ages, the heat lasts for ages. So we just want to find it. Okay, I'm going to pause it and take some still shots. I'm going to turn it back on. The local time is um, it'd be 4.34 German time. The lights apparently are plugged into the some battery system that's tied in there.
disconnecting the battery. And it is running. And over here, we've got uh, every once in a while, the as the water comes down, there's enough difference in the weight of the the systems that have water in them to the ones that don't that it starts spinning again, uh, overcoming the friction of the chain. Uh, when was the last time it did it? Oh, um, there've been many turning the wheel. Uh -huh. just to, to, these these, buck, uh, these floats will start jiggling around, uh -huh. and then it's time to do the wheel just to bring them down a bit. 32, that's number 32, and we start off at one. Uh -huh. it, did it just barely do it? When, when was the last time it did it? Um, a couple of minutes ago, three minutes, four minutes. Oh. Um, yes, it just barely did it. it didn't uh -huh. take so it turns, what, a couple at a time? Yes, it, well, it turned quite a few, but now it's getting low and low. Oh, right, it's getting so it's going to be less, yeah. yeah. There's the water level, you can see it coming down. Get you an idea how, what the lowering rate is. You can just barely tell visually that it's dropping. Yeah. He's pulling a chain over here. Sterling Allen. Eric. Hi, Eric. Come on. And and you, what's your role in all of this? Um, I'm here to look. Oh, okay. And just write down what I see, uh -huh. without any prejudice against or pro. Because that's what on, on behalf do. of. In there somewhere. Yeah, just in there. So, what's your plan to when it empties? What's your plan? Warum ist die Keine Videos I should mention that uh, one of the things going on here is um, <laughs> what was I going to say? Got a brain fart. We're going to go ahead and turn this off again so it doesn't overheat the circuit. It is now uh, 5.03 p.m. Uh, so go ahead and turn it off. Hmm? Go ahead and turn it off. I'll, I'll watch you do it. Just like that. 
the emergency shutoff button. Stop! And that's it. That's it. I just remembered what I was told earlier today about uh, this process that we're going through right now of draining the tube is not something that they like doing, obviously. And typically they say, you know, if you want to see that, it's going to be 500 euros <laughs> as a gratuity or whatever. If, if you want to pay 500 euros, then maybe we'll do it if we like you. <laughs> That's normal. So we really appreciate them doing this for us, for the audience, and they'll also be able to send their, their people who are skeptical about this to the video that we're doing here so that you, know, you can see here's what it looks like. So if you wanna pay the 500 euros or more or whatever, then you can maybe have them do this for you too. But just, you know, it's, it's a lot of effort. It, it takes eight hours to fill this tube once they've emptied it. You know, you see the size of the fire hose when they have a normal hose filling it. It takes a, a lot longer to fill it. So eight hours to fill it, and they've got to have someone here when it's, you know, if they can't just do it overnight and in the morning it's trickling out the top. So they've got to have somebody to be able to be here to, to, to shut it off when they're when it's full. So it, it's a lot of effort on their part to, to do that. And we're hoping to, by having this documented on, on camera today, to reduce the number of people that want to have something like that done because it's already been done. That one of the, you know, I, I've got this uh, skeptic voice in my head, not my own, but just thinking on behalf of the skeptics, is the space between here, between the two chain systems, um, and how much, if I could get a visual of kind of the mechanics of, you know, it, for example, the skeptic might say, well, maybe there's something in the middle, in between here, you've got a... a you mean we have underwater batteries? Underwater battery. Uh, Believe me, we stop immediately to sell power plants. I sell yeah. batteries. <laughs> yeah. Hello. This is the guy I was talking to this yeah, morning who was, was surprised that we were going to be emptying it because that's a big ordeal. Bosch, and he's telling me that, you know, it's usually 500 euros if you want to have that done.
pomóc w coś. Did you accept me? Did you get accepted to do it? Not yet. And you can see this is the bubble, this is the air, uh, air apparatus, the tube. And I'm pointing up the tube along the back side, so I'm right next to the window. That's true. But Sterling, you have to dive deeper <laughs> to find the hidden engine. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to have a hard hat on. It's not so bad, isn't it? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Czy masz szybę? Mhm. Ja będę odkryłał uszczelkę. Now I'm putting my camera in the small hole and I'm pointing up in the middle. Sit to the middle. I've got rust blood on me. Now I'm going to point down. Of course, there's still water at this end. Waterproof? Is it waterproof? I don't think so. So you can see, I'm I'm judging that the bottom of the the tube is maybe just looking from the outside here in is maybe four inches from the bottom of the tank. Maybe. And now I'm going to put my camera, if I can, on the inside pointing up on the back side. I can't tell what I'm doing. Let's see here. Could we um, move it just about six inches? Okay. Keep going. Keep going about six inches. Okay. You've only moved about a half an inch. We want to go to about six inches. Let's talk metric to these holes. <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going. About three times that much. Keep going. Perfect, right there. That's good. Stop, stop. 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 Now I'm going to be, put my camera up in here. There. You can see up the back side that there's nothing there. I can see that in the viewer. So again, I give you some light from here. There's a connector just barely uh, separated right there. Are you happy with the light? Now I'm going to point up in from this side. take some still shots now so I'm going to pause this so there's going to be an interruption the, in the video sequence we've been running 11 minutes okay now we're going to go up the panel let me show you KPP technology and we're going to go inside so you can see us go in through the window and see up inside the chamber, up to the middle, looking up, now I'm looking down, and then I'm going back into the middle and I'm looking down, and I'm going to keep looking down and coming out.
Okay, we're looking down at the bottom of the tank. Just outside, going inside, looking down at the bottom. I've got a light. There's just about four inches of water in the bottom because that's the drainage level. He offered to take the water completely to the bottom just to uh, siphon it out, but I don't see a reason to. I can see that there's nothing down there, just visually looking. I've got a light here shining in. You can also look from in here. Now we're on the other side, the small window, looking down. And there's nothing down there. Now we're looking. You can see a support structure down there as you turn this light back and forth. There's like a, a framework down there in the bottom. But as we said earlier, um, that is the idea of a uh, hidden cable in here makes no sense because you'd have to convey it through the hose and we disconnected the hose and so it couldn't be any power coming from the tower if there's any trickery at all it has to be coming from here and we ruled that out by just, you know looking at the, the fluorescent and all of, anyway that's a different story let's go back over here okay we're going Going from outside, going in through the big window, and we're going to go up. We're going to look up through the middle to the top. And I'm pushing the camera forward as far as I can reach in, coming back toward me, pointing up. And now I'm going to come out. And now I'm going to go, I'm going to point it down. I'm going to go in over here against the wall and then I'm going to put the camera down so you can see there's nothing there and then I'm going to put the camera up toward the top you can see that there's nothing there and, uh, and let's do the same thing on the other side come over here and I'm going to you saw down, I'm going to point up on this side toward the top. Here's the top. And I can push the camera in as far as I can go. Nothing over there. And down. And I'm going to go in and point on the side. And I'm going to point down to the bottom. And then I'm going to put the camera up. Thank you. <laughs> okay, here we are, uh, kind of a stand back shot. You can see both of the glasses that have been removed. The windows from the tube. Yes. The casing. I didn't get a still. I think see there's a plug in for the super wire. The water's taking a lot longer now. The hose is pretty squishy. Not a lot of elevation to push that water out of there. Um, Dann tue ich äh, besser ist das.
No hidden wires. Now, how do you get all the batteries here? Wenn die Dinge so dick ist, dann, dann dürfen sie auch was anderes vom Körper nehmen und reinstecken. <lacht> This, well, if, if it's not no, coming no. through there, you don't need to do that one. No, 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 don't no. do that one. Yeah, this just one is fine. Just one is fine. Yeah. There won't be any wires going through there. That'd be crazy. Okay, I'm showing that you can see the bottom with the light shown down through here at this low water level. You can see the bottom and it does go to the bottom of the tank. I've got this light here, so over here. The camera doesn't seem to be picking it up as well as uh, to see it in person, but you can tell that it goes all the way to the bottom of the tank and there's nothing down there.